Hi everyone and welcome to Code FX and drum roll please. Effective Java 3rd edition. I have to admit, I don't usually read tech books cover to cover, but the second edition of Effective Java was an exception. I read it way back when I started out as a software developer and it taught me so much about just how to write good Java code. When the third edition came out, I was sure to get my copy on the first day. But I thought I was just gonna, you know, read the new items, flip through some of the old ones, because I mostly knew what's in there, right? Boy, was I wrong. I forgot so many details and it was so much fun to discover them again, to connect what's in here with what I learned over the last couple of years, and also just to find angles that Josh didn't cover and maybe even prove him wrong occasionally. So what's so great about Effective Java? That it covers so many essential aspects of good Java code. From correctness to maintainability, from preventing misuse to established conventions. It starts by discussing different ways to properly control an object's lifecycle. For example, by using static factory methods or builders to create it and to abstain from using finalizers and cleaners. One of my favorite interview questions on Java fundamentals is about equals and hash code and what to look out for when implementing these. If you've read Effective Java, you will pass this with flying colors. On structuring your classes and interfaces, Josh recommends the evergreens of minimizing accessibility and mutability and preferring composition and interfaces over the alternatives. This seems almost boring, but I wonder whether there were evergreens before Effective Java first came out in 2001. Then he goes into a lot of very sound advice on generics, including a great mnemonic for wildcards, enums and annotations, before, and this is new in the third edition, coming to Java 8's lambdas and streams. Here I felt Josh was a little too careful with his assessments and recommendations and where I most disagree with him. Then we go into designing and implementing a proper method contract with a particular focus on the library developer's compatibility concerns. Next up is a chapter which I assume was almost called MISC, because it's simply a collection of somewhat random but very sound pieces of advice from JDK on JDK library features and pitfalls you might not be aware of, to common naming conventions and even a little bit of optimization. Then come best practices for handling exceptions, and then a chapter on concurrency that I find a little disappointing. Over the last couple of releases, uh, the JDK library amassed a lot of new concurrency features, but they are hardly covered. Even given the space constraints, I think this could have been better. He closes with Java's billion dollar mistake, serialization. I'm convinced Java developers of all skill levels will benefit from reading the book. If you're new to Java, you're going to learn so much about its idioms and just how to write good Java code. If you're more experienced, you're going to brush up on a lot of the details, you're going to reflect over what you already know, and you're going to make it so much easier for yourself to explain what you know to newer Java developers. And so I decided to make a YouTube series about effective Java 3rd edition. But I won't simply repeat what the book says. Instead, I'm going to assume that you've read it and will provide commentary. I will highlight interesting bits, point out where I think something's missing, and generally let you know where I agree and disagree with it. I invite you to do the same and leave lots of comments on the upcoming videos. By the way, if you don't yet own Effective Java 3rd Edition, consider buying it with one of the affiliate links in the description box. So how is this going to go down? I travel to a lot of conferences and will try to record a video at each of them. I plan to have one video per item and start with item 1, but I don't promise to keep that up. I may decide uh, to skip more boring items, aggregate several into one video, or generally start jumping around to cover more interesting stuff sooner. In any event, I will leave lots of cross-links to other related videos like to this one on Static Factory Methods on September 25th. If you want to come along for the ride, subscribe to CodeFX on YouTube or follow me on Twitter where I'm at NipaFX. So long! Picking up the stuff. Picking up the stuff. What the fuck? Where'd the other one go? Looks. <sighs>